New images from the Big Island tonight. The lava is still very active with fountains continuing to shoot up into the sky. And it also continues to flow into the ocean. While it's mesmerizing, it's also very dangerous. And officials are warning people to stay away. The lava has also made its way onto the property of Puna Geothermal Venture. But officials say right now it's flowing down and away from the plant itself. But that could change at any moment. And officials are preparing for it. My co-anchor Howard Dashevsky is on the Big Island and has more. Howard. Aloha, Marissa. We're coming to you once again from just outside the Hawaii County Civil Defense Headquarters, where you can bet right now, as they do 24-7, officials from all county, state, federal agencies are inside there monitoring all aspects of this eruption, including the geothermal plant. And the message that they're all sending out tonight is everything is safe. And even if something takes a turn for the worse, they say they will be ready. Officials say crews have been able to seal all but one of the plant's wells with double latches. The final well has been plugged with a mud-like substance. Many fear that if lava gets into the wells, it could trigger a release of potentially deadly hydrogen sulfide gas. At tonight's community meeting, Governor Ige tried to ease those fears. We continue to monitor that facility 24 hours a day, every single day, uh, to take readings. Uh, and we also have in place plans, uh, should the situation change, so that we can inform you uh, of the change and, if necessary, evacuate as quickly as possible. But those plans are hinging on what Madam Pele chooses to do. Assuming that the lava doesn't change its pattern or its flow. Each time it changes, we have to reevaluate and, and uh, look at other issues. A spokesman for PGB says safety is the number one priority. Our employees go there every day. Uh, we have 30 employees that are there every day working hard, uh, just making sure that we keep the facility safe. And uh, at night, we have people there. Uh, you know, so if we're there, I'm real confident that the folks nearby us are safe just as well. Now, once again, if lava were to overcome that whole facility, whether it be the wells or the entire geothermal plant, officials say they don't know exactly what's happened because there's never been a situation ever where there's been this kind of an event, a geothermal well with lava overtaking it. But they say they're planning for every possibility. And they also want to make sure that you have all the information. We're going to provide it to you. We provide all the live information on updates every day at 3 o'clock, the civil defense updates on KHON2.com. And of course, we We'll be here every night to bring you all the latest developments from the Big Island as they happen. Reporting from Hawaii Island, I'm Howard Dushevsky. Marissa, we send it back to you.